All right, sweetie, what would you say are your top three requirements for our new home? Um, one would be a updated electrical infrastructure mm. in the house, mm -hmm. for sure. Um, with the hobby equipment that both of us have, um, with the power that they draw, I mean, we don't want breakers popping all over the place and yeah, stuff true. turning off. I mean, you know, true. so we, 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 we can't have that. Yeah, been there, done that. Dedicated hobby space. Mm -hmm. So when I'm painting or, or cutting stuff or breaking in an engine or something like that for my RC hobby, um, that it would be a little bit outside the house so that, mm -hmm. that we could, you know, it wouldn't disturb the family or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> and let's see, third, probably um, walking distance to some convenience stores um, access. Um, okay. And then being close enough to, since we do have our vehicle, um, to drive to the grocery store not too far away. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. So how about you? What do you I would like to have a dedicated hobby space too. Okay. Um, because we did come here with the full-fledged desire and wish that we would be able to enjoy our hobbies yeah. and whatnot. So I would, so we, that's one of the main reasons we kept my embroidery machine, my, um, my cutter, my heat press, my hat press, all of the things that I use to embellish and decorate um, clothes. And, you know, I would like to keep that and do that. So I would like to have a dedicated hobby space. Sure. Um, next up behind that would probably be, oh, a guest space for the family. Sure. Yeah. I, I mean, mean, we are <sighs> aspiring empty nesters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but every now and then I would like the kids to, the kids to be able to come back from college and and maybe for us to be together at Christmas time or yeah, sure. for family to come and visit and I'd like for them to have, um, or at least the space be able to accommodate, you know, some room for family to come visit. Sure, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And then my last thing would probably be a rooftop garden. Yeah, you've always wanted one of those. A little sexy rooftop garden situation, you know, <laughs> so that we could have a fantastic view. That would be just the icing on the cake. Yeah, so, that sounds good. Sounds good. So if we can look for those, uh, <laughs> find the house with all those things, then yeah, <sighs> write it up. Yeah. Search begins. All right, so let's go get something to eat. Okay.
had again this is one of those houses if someone had money to gut it and redo it it would be the bomb yeah the property itself the property itself the, it, the, the bones lot, of the house the, yeah but they would have to gut and redo all the electricity in the house all, all the, the kitchens, plumbing kitchens all the bathrooms, the bathrooms were... all that um and, and that's the that's the issue with some of these houses is that the older homes is is that it's almost like they use what's called bus and tag electric connections. Mm -hmm. It's it's what you see in the United States where you have fuses. They don't have fuses, they have circuit breakers, but they're jury rigging the, the electricity to connect to a light fixture to give power to an outlet, which is going to overload the circuit. Mm -hmm. So you're, it's not a good thing for a house like that. If you put something on there and it overloads the circuit, it can either pop the breaker or start a fire. Right, right. Yeah, it just, um, and, you, and honestly, like I said in the video, you, you, I could get lost in that house. It, it felt like a maze. It, uh, yeah, it, it was. It had that feel of my grandparents' house in Owensboro, Kentucky, where wow. my grandfather had, had pieced together, together rooms, rooms on top, top of, of rooms with no plan, no, no plan, no, right? And you just wander through the house, and there's different floor, flooring, different uh, walls, different, you know, whatever. And he moved plumbing around and things like that, right? Um, now, but that's what you're definitely going to get here in this neighborhood. We're in Horikia, um, in the Hur 
Ikea neighborhood. It's more established. The homes are older. Um, you know, it, 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 the, the lots are larger. Uh, so you're going to have that as a, as a bonus, but it's also, it's also a feature. <laughs> you know, the houses are going to be old. Yeah. And they're going to have an uh, issue unless whoever has owned the home has, you know, gone in and done some remodeling. But this neighborhood is gorgeous, y'all. I mean, if y'all could see yeah. what we're seeing right now. The streets, uh, as we just left, we left a cobblestone street. This street is brick paved. Um, gorgeous home. Well, let me turn this around. This absolutely gorgeous um, lots, big, large lots, as you can see, um, with beautiful, mature, flowering trees. Look at this one over here. Just beautiful, beautiful trees, gorgeous lots. Um, really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice neighborhood. Oops, sorry guys. Very nice neighborhood. So. Yeah. Nice yeah. neighborhood. Yeah. I could dig this. And this looks walkable and rideable. Yes, it does. You could very much ride your bike in this neighborhood. This is the John F. Kennedy School. The John F. Kennedy School is nearby which is one of the top uh, American school, private schools here in Queretaro. Uh, that one's here in this Curica neighborhood. It's a beautiful house. So our next appointment isn't until 4.30. So we've got about an hour to kick it. Now, do we want to ride home or do we want to hang out with our realtor at her house? We're going over to Ali's house. Yes. We're going over to her house. <laughs> We're going to go over to her house and sit and chit chat yes, for, a while. for a while. And pick her brains about okay. you know, living here in Kerater. So I'm having to let go of some of my expectations. Like what? Um, uh, from a modern standpoint, um, some houses are quite modern here in, in, in Kerater. Is this her house? So Allie pulled over to our show realtor. us a realtor to show us a house on the way to her house. Nice. That's it's a nice little John is nice. Um, the, a house that's uh, coming on the market. So there's a, yeah. two houses that these realtors have as pocket listings possibly right. that we might be able to find. So I think that is yet another reason why you should wait till you have boots on ground in order to really see what's out here because there's so many houses. Oh, whoops, I'm losing my realtor. Yeah. There's so many houses out here um, that aren't advertised on the internet uh, that you would never know about. And that might indeed be the one for you. So our needs are so particular that we need to have boots on ground. Right. But this last house was not going to meet those needs uh, because <laughs> of the age of the house. And, and, and really, I mean, I yeah. honestly... If someone was to come in there with some money and, and you know, remodel that entire house from from the ground up. From the rooter to the tutor. Yep. Uh, it would be great. Yeah. It's, on a, it's a great piece of property. Great piece of property. It's just, it's just too old. Yeah, yeah. Way too old. So, I'm going to turn this around. We're driving now. Notice the little cobblestone streets that we're... On. That's why you see all this bumpity bumpity that we're doing right now. All this bumpity bump. All right, guys. All right, guys. So we're going to see you later. All right.